Hi. So many of you know my story um, regarding my breast cancer journey so far, um, but I feel like a lot of you don't. And I just wanted to share my story, um, seeing as it's the first day of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, in hopes that even if it helps one person in detecting early breast cancer, um, it will have all been worth it. Um, so my journey starts actually with my mom, who I like to refer to as my life giver and my lifesaver. Um, she had um, her yearly mammograms. Every year they would show that she had dense breasts and she should get a follow-up ultrasound. This year, she said there was a tiny voice in her head that said, this year you should get it done. And sure enough, she had triple positive breast cancer. Um, uh, while she was going through um, all of her treatments, she had genetic testing done. And the genetic testing came back that she has a Dicer 1 genetic mutation that usually affects children, but sometimes um, it can affect adults in uh, the form of ovarian cancer, which is very hard to detect. So she suggested that I get a mammogram and I get um, genetic testing done. I had the mammogram done in March and it came back negative. It said I also have dense breasts and I should get an ultrasound. Um, then I got the genetic testing back and it turns out I also have the Dicer 1 genetic mutation. So what that meant for me was I still have a high risk of getting ovarian cancer. Um, I had the um, results sent to my OGYN, just I thought he should have them, and he called me out of the blue the next day and said, I got your genetic results, you should probably see a guy an oncologist just for a baseline pelvic ultrasound. So I took his referral, and a couple days before that appointment, I had felt like a little lump on the side under my armpit, and so I thought it was a lymph node, but I thought, I'll see the doctor soon, I'll just ask the doctor I see. I meet with her, she does an exam, and um, I ask her about that lump. And she said, you know, it feels like a lymph node, but if you feel more comfortable, I'll order you the um, breast ultrasound. I said, okay. And she also ordered me a pelvic ultrasound just to rule out the ovarian cancer. So um, my breast ultrasound was about two weeks after that appointment. And two days before that ultrasound, I just randomly was feeling my breast and I felt a lump. Um, it wasn't anything large or hard. It just felt different to me. I knew it felt different. Um, I asked my husband, what do you think? And he said, you know, it just feels like that fibrous tissue that you have. Um, but you know, you're going to the doctor in a couple days, just have them check. So I went to my breast ultrasound appointment and they were concentrating on the lymph node. And I said, could you also check this one lump right here? And uh, looking back now, the tech was like, how did you even feel that? I couldn't feel it until you pointed to the exact spot. Um, I said, I don't know, it just was one thing that felt different. I don't do breast exams a lot, even as a nurse. I don't take very good care of myself, um, but I just happened to feel this one thing that felt different. I just didn't feel right. Um, so women and men, trust your gut if you think something is off or if you're not sure because you just got done breastfeeding or you just had children or it's that time of the month, always check it at the same time each month. Um, and if anything seems off, just get it checked. It, can't hurt. $15, $20 copay can save your life. Um, so the ultrasound came back. They said it's a high 95% chance that I would um, come back positive for breast cancer. They did a biopsy and it was in my lymph nodes um, that was not the one that I originally thought, a different one. And the, um, the lump came back also positive for triple negative breast cancer. I don't even have the same breast cancer as my mother. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, there's different ways that people come about finding out they have breast cancer, either getting a mammogram, finding a lump, but you don't always find the lump. My mom didn't find a lump. It was just on the mammogram. So I urge everyone, if you're able, get a mammogram after 40. I believe insurance covers it. Um, I'm 34. They would have never covered it if it wasn't for my mom um, having breast cancer. Um, or if your primary refers you for one, 
um, because you found a lump. Um, the biopsy honestly wasn't that bad. There was some bruising afterward, but pain-wise, it was nothing. I didn't take any pain medication for it. Um, so I think it's worth it to at least get yourself checked if you notice anything that's different. Um, I know it's really scary, but I think it's scarier to think um, how much worse it could be. Um, I have stage four breast cancer, and the reason it is stage four is because it's in the whole left breast, above and below my clavicle, and it crossed over to the right side, but it's still on my lymph nodes, and I find myself very blessed that it's not in my lungs, my heart, my brain, my bones. It's just in lymph nodes, um, and if I had waited any longer, it could have definitely spread um, elsewhere. It was trying to find other places to go. But um, so I just want to urge everyone to get checked, male and female. Um, you guys know your bodies better than anyone. And it, just trust your gut. If you think something's wrong, just get checked out. And happy October.